Hi guys, it's Blue here and welcome back to another creator sim. As promised, I said I was going to go through some of the townies and fix them up because the EA, ha EA has done them dirty. So in today's episode, I am tackling the Caliente sisters. Only Nina and Dina though. Now, I could probably go through all of the history about them because they were previously in The Sims 2 um, and I probably wouldn't even have enough time to touch all of the, like, the conspiracies surrounding them and everything like that, but I can definitely tell you some of my issues <laughs> as per usual. So I've just popped on the screen, these are like what their kind of screen grab from The Sims 2 looked like and they were super like hot twins that moved in and kind of romancing loads of people um including Mortimer Goth who's actually like engaged I think at the point I think it's engaged to Dina um Caliente and then Don is there as well who's picture should come up in a second of the actual OG Don who is romantically involved with both of the sisters and also um engaged to Cassandra Goth so there's like a lot of going on automatically when you log into The Sims 2. Um, one of my biggest issues I think I have with the way that they've been done in The Sims 4 is that they've been completely whitewashed. Um, as you can kind of see in the videos that they kind of give off more of like a Latina vibe um, and especially when you go into their backgrounds with them having relatives like Tango Caliente who um, was one of their kind of like relatives, um, Flamenca Caliente who was a result of like someone else and an alien because they are part alien in The Sims 2 and then they had Negat and um, everything like that and they had their twin daughters so they come from a line of like you know not a stereotypical like white suburban family which is how they have been very much perceived in The Sims 4 which is one of the biggest things that annoys me so that was one of the first things I changed I didn't want to do too like I didn't do too much because if you see in this pictures and I've got like my lovely Dina there um in like in the corner but yeah they're just not as white as they're portrayed to be in The Sims 4. Now, I know that The Sims, the whole point of The Sims 4 is it's done in an alternate universe and things like that, but I think that there's still things that they could have changed. And the fact that Dina and um, Nina were like the, meant to be like the hot twin sisters in all of the variations, even in The Sims 3 when they come into Barnacle Bay, and then uh, they are the most upsetting townies. They're the ones I've always taken a very personal grievance against because they had, oh. <laughs> I don't want to sound too harsh, but they just they just do not make me happy. <laughs> so obviously Dina being the one that focuses on marrying Mortimer for money, she's a bit more of a gold digger, she's more active, um, things like that. She's meant to be a bit more playful and outgoing and yeah, kind of like the Nina's kind of the opposite of her, a bit more shy. So I just kind of wanted to probably do that a little bit in the video and in my creative, like my makeover of them and just make her probably look a little bit more like your typical, I don't know, like hot outgoing girl, I guess. Yeah, he's like, wanted to change her skin tone again to just make it a little bit darker because I think I'd done it a bit too light. And I kind of think I stick with this and I was quite happy with it. Um, but yeah, so her outfits and her, her hair, oh, they need to get rid of that like urine yellow hair colour because it is so disgusting, like the yellow. Um, and stick, like chuck in a few more shades or things like that. Because um, it is awful. Now I did touch on the fact that in The Sims 2 there's loads of like conspiracies about them. In particular there's one that, that they, Nina and Dina, are actually responsible for Bella Goth's disappearance. Um, and one of the things is obviously she is supposedly abducted by aliens and the fact that they are part alien and also involved with Don and Don was involved with, well, he was supposedly the one of the last ones to see Bella Goth means that potentially they were kind of in cahoots there or something like that um which is just like a nice little fun fact and I wish stuff like that carried through into The Sims 4 um things like the law and like I say I completely understand that that wasn't their focus at all <laughs> um with this game but I think they could have done it a bit better Okay, so I've really not even been talking about her outfits and her makeup and things like that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of make her look like 
it's a bit of a gold digger so but like yeah so she's super put together all times always looking nice I think her facial structure looks so much better than it did already um, which makes me happy <laughs> because I just oh I feel sorry for them now I haven't done Katrina or Don um, Don I think needs a whole other video just dedicated to himself to make him um, over and make him look how I think he should um, and I potentially want to move him out because he's obviously in this house with these ladies whereas I think he deserves to go back to the bachelor pad for a little bit um, please tell me I get rid of her plum bob earrings I'm sure I get rid of them. I wouldn't have kept those on. I'm now getting concerned. I mean, don't get me wrong, who doesn't want a plumble beaver? There we go. They're just a bit oversized. Um, yeah, so anyway, one of the, that's why I wanted to do Don in a separate video because I think I'll move him out into like a little bachelor pad again. Um, in this version of The Sims, I think he's meant to be romantically involved with Mina, who is supposedly the Caliente's like mum. Which again, she was like never create um, a character before. Um, it was Nagat that was the mum, even though she was never a character again in The Sims 2. So I feel like, yeah, we could have maybe seen, I don't know, some spice to, to this, maybe some different ethnicities, things like that, like they should have. Um, but yeah, that they're, they're together with Don, and then obviously Don was actually meant to be together with both Nina and Dina. So I feel like that was a weird move to go for so I'm gonna move him out and um, I will give Katrina probably a makeover off camera oh doesn't she I really like those shorts I think she looks so pretty she's just who I'd aspire to be <laughs> maybe not the gold digger side of things but um yeah she's just always really put together and I think I actually need to change her um D Nina's outerwear because I think they're wearing the same thing that's uh, something I'll go off and do now Nina oh my goodness was the poor girl she was definitely hard done by and I'm not even completely happy with how she turned out um, in comparison I wanted to keep them as close as possible to um, you know not go in and oh, there we go I'm <laughs> sorry I got, again I got a bit concerned then um, I wanted to try and keep them as close as possible to what had um, been done before and to their selves but in The Sims 2 Nina was my favourite to play with because she was the shyer one um, even though she's down as a hot head in this game um, but she was meant to be kind of more the shy one out of the two and she was more kind of like on the lookout for love effectively more than like it being to do with money or anything like that and obviously with her being so um, involved with Don and she really was like I think Kind of wanted to be with him but he was with cassandra and multiple other women but sims yeah the sims 4 just did a really dirty out of the two of them i think she was arguably the worst just the way that her face looked and everything like that and like i said i'm not totally happy with how she turned out um but she's definitely improved i wouldn't be offended if i saw her i would not offended i wouldn't feel sorry if i saw her in um my world now like this now i try to give as much of kind of like the wavy-ish hair that came with the sims 2 um but with like a deeper red instead of the orange again sims for not knowing how hair colors work but i guess it goes into like the cartoony side of things So yeah, um, sh like I said, she was meant to be the bit more kind of chill one and in The Sims she was wearing, was wearing a black crop top and these pink cargo pants, trousers, cargo trousers, um, that oh, I just, I wanted as a kid, like I wanted to dress like her and I know that's embarrassing considering I was so young playing The Sims but um, yeah, I just, she just always was the one that I was more drawn to over Dina. Um, so I kind of wanted to put that across in this as well um yeah so I happy went with some sort of pink trousers that I'd never use actually I never use those high-waisted ones but they weren't as bad as I thought 
And again, just trying to go along the lines of something quite nice for her formal wear. I've tried to do it vanilla as well, like no um, custom content, and it's very difficult. I think that we could have done some so much better for like formal wear and stuff like that. Um, there's something if this just this sim, even changing her, there's just something about her. And I think is it that her eyes are too close together or what? I don't know. This is me trying to fix it. Is it the brows? Is it the eyes? She just looks a little bit crazy, but she definitely looks better, <laughs> which is especially from a distance. If you look at her from a distance. Maybe with squinty eyes, like if you squint your eyes a little bit, then yeah. <laughs> Again, just all of the stuff they're giving them were just, uh, not great. Now at this point, I think I kind of lost the will to live. Um, even though this is a, what, a ten, a 10, I think 13 minute video, it took me a very long time to do. Um, So I think at this point, I just lost the will, and I was like, I can't do it anymore. Especially considering I was getting, ooh, I was getting frustrated um, that they weren't turning, like, she wasn't turning out exactly as I wanted. Now, I never use that top, ever, because it's base game, never been a fan of it, but I actually liked it on her, controversially. I liked it with the black jeans combo, I think it actually looked quite nice and it's something that yeah I would never ever think to put on them but actually really suited her. So my kind of plan is that I'm doing the Calientes, I'll fix Don and then I will um, maybe go around and do the land grabs, the goths, things like that. I'm no builder but I want to drop some more lots in um, as well. And maybe just add some more fun people. Like I want to add the newbies into my games, things like that. Also, really glad I didn't put her in that like giant dress, which just was not her vibe at all. And yes, see, I think I put them in the exact same win um, winter wear, which I need to change. But other than that, I am happy how they turned out. Um, they are so much better. That hair has never been a favourite of mine anyway, and they've just kind of lost the basic kind of bitch look and I think are kind of more realistic to what they used to be I think so anyway thank you guys for watching um I'll be back with another creator sim soon um let me know if you guys want to have access to these on the gallery as well thanks guys